Hi, my name is Derek Garcia, and today I will be reviewing the Cyclone DX for Python tool. Cyclone DX for Python generates a software bill of materials for Python code according to the Cyclone DX standard for SBOMs. It can use the current development environment of the project, a manifest file of general dependencies, or Conda Package Manager to create SBOM files, either in XML or JSON format. It uses a command line interface, making it easy to integrate directly into most IDEs. To demonstrate, I'll be first running this from a PyCharm ID on my Windows machine, which I'll switch over to now. Installation is pretty simple, just use a pip install with the following command. A lot of these have already been installed from previous testing, but it does not take more than a few seconds. You can view the full list of the commands for this tool with the help flag. As you can see, there are quite a bit of options, making this a pretty robust tool for whichever you need. But for just simple SBOM generation, you can use the following command. The dash E flag indicates that I want to generate from the environment and the dash O flag indicates the, the path to whichever file I want to write to, um, in this case, sbom.xml. The tool will generate sbombs in XML by default, but we can view the file. And everything is here. Of course, it looks a little different because it's printed to the standard output, but the file does exist. Now I'll demonstrate this again from an Ubuntu machine, which I'll switch over to now. I've already installed the tool The you can see here, the Cyclone Deeds Palm. I'm running this in a virtual environment. I've already had the project installed. Using the dash format flag, we can also generate a JSON version of this SBOM. So once again, the dash E for the environment. This time we are using the dash dash format JSON to indicate we want to generate a JSON file and can run that. Once again, if we just get the output. We can see all the information is here. Additionally, the tool has the ability to generate SBOMs using the project's manifest file, which contains some brief notes about the packages and their versions. So in this version, this particular project, uh, they decided to go with requirements-dev. By convention, it's usually just requirements.txt. But we can see here a list of different packages they've used. Now, while this does work, I did receive various warnings that the dependencies listed weren't included in the final output because they lacked version numbers, which we can see here. A lot of these packages don't contain version numbers. The only thing that does is pytest.asyncio, which is version 0.16.0. So when I generate it, it'll raise those warnings again. So I can do this. X. Uh, to generate from the file, I want to use the dash R. Uh, without any arguments, it'll look for a requirements.txt, which I can just briefly demonstrate. And passing just the dash into the dash O just means to print it to the standard output. As you can see, it's looking for requirements.txt. So to indicate the file, I'm just going to copy the file name which is requirements dev.txt. And I will write this out to an XML file. Now it works, but you can see the warning. Again, a lot of these don't have versions, so they won't, aren't included in the final SBOM, um, which kind of matches up here. We can see all of these. And in the warning, we can see pytest async IO isn't there because it does have a version number. Now I'll just quickly view the file. And we can see it's a lot shorter than what we saw back in the PyCharm environment where we have all this information and here we just have a very short file. So this isn't necessarily the best use, but we can see if you have access to the environment, we can generate a much more thorough SBOM. Overall, the Cyclone DX for Python is an easy, effective tool to use. It's easy to install, use, and modify to the needs of the project. While it's not necessarily as extensive as other SBOMs generators, 
the options are decent enough for any sort of project. But that ends this demo. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at the Learn SBOM team. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.